Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Manor Lords. Last time we got our place kind of set up. We got two houses. We got a granary, got the storehouse, we got our logging camp. We're working on the woodcutter's lodge and then we're also working on a hunting camp at the same time. We still need more houses. What are you transporting? Bread? Is that bread on the ground? Or tools? Just, just baskets of bread. We have the hunting camp. Off you go. Hunting limit. When the population of the herd drops to this number, they will stop hunting. Hmm. We have a herd of 20. Oh, you already killed one. That was that was insanely fast. How did you kill how did you kill an animal that fast? What is even out here? Oh, it's deer. Oh, look at this scrumptious morsel. Look at him go. Where is our hunter? Excuse me? Are you the hunter? Agnes is stuck. Lawrence, you're not the hunter either. Who's working here? Did I? I thought I assigned somebody. Oh, here he goes. Gathering resources. Are you going to get a bow? Where are you, where are you going? This is fascinating. Is he going to hunt the deer with his hands? Exposed goods? Well, we already have the pantry made, so I hope they'll just do that on their... He... Excuse me. Summer's coming soon, and soon the beating sun. He just, like, felled the deer with his mind. How did this happen? <laughs> That's impressive. Look at him go, though. Maybe the deer just, like, died of old age. And he's like, yep. Yep. Did that one. This is heavier than it looks. Look at him go. Is he gonna, like, throw it on the fire? Oh, he's gonna stick it up on the rack. Ah! Doing his job. Very cool. <laughs> I think it's very funny that the deer just kind of, like, keeled over. But, you know, we have nine timber. Holy cow. We can pull one of the families off of the logging camp now. So we got a family there. Family assigned to granary. And then we'll have one extra family that runs the woodcutter's lodge. And then that's the five families we have. We'll need to, need to recruit more families. We should go ahead and set up more burgages. I think we have space for two more here. Yep. So there's two there. And then we'll throw... Oh, whoops. And then we'll throw... How many houses would fit in here? Two more houses, it looks like. I think that's good. These are a little bigger than the other... The plots across the way. Those are the... Those are the rich... Families. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's so funny. Exposed goods to the pantry. You guys, whoever works here, excuse me. Whoever works here should be should be doing this. Oh, you can upgrade each of the buildings. Oh, very cool. Can I upgrade the house? Yeah. Generates regional wealth per family per month. Unlocks new extensions, including the artisan's artisan shop. But residential requirements will increase. Okay, so we should work on getting a church before we think about upgrading the house. And then also the stalls. We, right now, we don't have a food stall. We just have the... What? Firewood? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, what are you doing? Warehouse worker? Guiding ox. To to where? To the tree? That makes sense. Jeez, you guys have almost clear-cut the entire forest already. Still working on that woodcutter's lodge over there. Summer's coming soon. You've been saying summer's coming for, like, ages. <laughs> Let's go ahead and change all of the houses to be high or at least three of the houses to be high priority we'll skip up to four per uh four times speed basically my thoughts are hey food stall made if we we should have our people have a house before 
we assign everybody to somewhere else. Because I assume if all of my people have a job, then we won't have anybody free to, like, build stuff. So before I assign anybody to this house out here, or uh, the, the woodcutter's lodge out here, I would like to uh, get all the houses built. Or at least a number of the houses. Maybe we should have even more houses than I'm thinking of. Who's the one that replants trees? The forester's hut. Takes two timber. Trees will be uprooted. Or we could put you right here. And then no trees are uprooted. Think about that. Construction finished. Fantastic. We only need two more to go. We're down to four timber. Does make sense. We're building a lot of stuff all at the same time. Family members joined one of the settlers. Fantastic. Building this other house here. And then just two more houses. And then I'm hoping we get our hands on a, a spare family. And then we'll just have to, to continue building houses. I kind of think, like, it'd be nice to have houses back to back. So if we wanted to plot out even more houses here, you would set up your burgage. Mm, I wouldn't want to set it up that way. I would want it like this. This is going to be tricky. How long are you? <laughs> So like this, and then that way, and then over. Yeah, this is exactly how I want it to look. So we'd want the road to be right there-ish. It's right there seems fine. How do I... Control? I want it to be like a right angled road. Yes, this is exactly how I want it to look. We've increased our settlement level. We got a message. Perfect. To get more population, you have to have enough empty burgage plots and your approval needs to be 50%. Fantastic. Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them. Fascinating. You guys are murdering all the, all the animals out here. Five hides, two meat. Way to go. Nobody's working out here. It's also raining. Ooh, you need to get two burgage plants to level two to, to, to upgrade to the next level. I wouldn't want to go too fast with our upgrade stuff. The logging camp is going wild. They've done a great job just clear-cutting the forest over here. Which is honestly okay. Um... Because I would like to clear this land for, like, farmland. But once they've hacked out maybe these trees here, we can pro probably move this guy over here. And then they'll all be kind of serviced by the forester's hut nearby. You guys are still working on this house? Go ahead and make that high priority, too. Because I'm hoping... We'll get a spare family moving in. Right now, we only have five level one families. Family members join. Fantastic. Retinue. Yeah, so the unassigned families are key for constructing stuff. It would be fine if we had nothing else to construct, or at least for the time being. But right now, we do have a lot of stuff that we want to construct. In fact, we have to get our hands on the wooden church eventually. And we're going to need 20, 20 planks for that. So we'll actually have to even go for, uh, for timber here. This guy. The saw pit. It's clay. 
I was like, what is that? The forest is on fire. It was not on fire. We could build a stone deposit thing out here. <laughs> It'd be so far away. But, I mean, it might be worth it. Saving finished. Thank you. Yeah, get this extra extra house built. And then why don't we just go ahead and... Uh, like, we don't want to expand too fast. Especially if we don't have, like, full... Full? <laughs> fuel set up. The hunting, camp, the hunting camp seems to be doing okay. The gathering seat might be important. We're already into April now. So maybe that would also be a good one we'd want to go after. We, we need like so many houses for all of these things. I don't want to get rid of the the bush. Come on. I also don't want to uproot any trees either. Is this uproot trees or is this fine? Come on. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> All right, so how many houses or uh, how many families is that going to end up being? So we have six living spaces. We still only have five families. Soon the beating sun. Excuse me, who's homeless? Oh, previous the recent thirty days, we have plus three from food variety. We have bread. We have meat. Fantastic. Public order is great, and we have six living sp spaces. I guess the point is we shouldn't really build any more houses until like we have more people so let's go ahead and get forager's hut uh then the four the woodcutter's lodge and then the forester's hut he seems to already be transporting the timber because I'm kind of thinking, like, if we don't have people in the houses, it doesn't make sense to spend time. To spend time building the houses if nobody's living in them. So once this house is built, they, what the plan in my head is that as the people move in, they then build the next house. And then they get assigned to something until that house is occupied. This is kind of my plan for now. Halfway to the forager hut. I think I will put people to work in the woodcutter's lodge first. Once they've finished all three of these things here. So the forager hut, forester's hut, woodcutter's lodge. Once all three of those are done, we'll put them to work in the woodcutter's lodge so we can start getting our hands on fuel. You built the forager's hut first? Yeah, that's, I did tell you to do that. Add an herb garden. That's kind of neat. What kind of stuff could you add? What about the logging camp? Nothing. That one, that one you cannot expand. They're like, that one, they chop trees. That's all that exists. Same thing with the woodcutter's lodge. And then the forester's hut. Man, they're doing great work. I guess we're running at four times speed, so it does kind of make sense. So once we get new people moving in, Fantastic. Good job, everybody. Let's put these guys to work now in the Woodcutter's Lodge. We can always alternate back and forth between the Woodcutter's Lodge and the logging camp, honestly, and having people working in the Forester's Hut. When we have... Actually, we already have 13 timber. I'm kind of wondering, it might be worthwhile pulling the people out of the logging camp and having them work in, say, the, the Forager Hut. Create new units. I think we need... 10 recruits. Hire mercenaries. New militia footmen. Spear militia. 
pole arm militia. A new family is moving in. Yes. Look at that. Right here? Who lives here? Who lives here? Tell me. Albrecht. That's a good name. Good strong name. We're in May now. Well done, team. Okay. Albrecht, you're in charge of building the next neighbor's house. Not like that. We've already determined how we want the houses plotted out. So this is going to be four houses here. Right? If we did it this way. This would be five houses. Okay. Too, too much house. Is this one house if I do it this narrow? <laughs> it's weird that it's snapping to... In a way I didn't intend. Oh, interesting. You can make like a super big plot. Okay. So what about this? That's that's the size I was going for. And then you would have two more like that. Alright. Go ahead and build two houses. We'll go ahead and high pri very high priority this one. And then th leave this one as medium. So Albrecht and his crew will build the next house, and then we will assign them somewhere. Probably the forager hut. How you guys doing? You're at 12. You're almost hitting the limit of your hunting. Does reducing the limit to d down to like five, would that make it, would it make it harder for them to recover? from the lost population? Or is it always a set rate? Building a tavern does seem very interesting. I like the idea of a tavern, especially kind of at like the crux. Why can't I turn you? Like this, like right in the middle of town, as you come into town from the main road. Can I move the hitching post? I sure can. There. Yeah, like right here is where I'd like the tavern to be. It only takes five lumber to make a tavern. And it fulfills the entertainment requirement. They don't even have that. They really want a church though. Which has a wall. Not enough goods. I, I'm aware that there's not enough goods for the church, please. Where would you put the church? I like the tavern being central. The church seems like something people would walk to. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm not sure if that does make sense. All right, bring in the logs. The village does grow. I should. I was. I got distracted. I was going to try to recruit a polearm thing. You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all the militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the village's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will be you'll be able to rally your unit. Okay. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Equipment is missing. Do we have different equipment? They said I had weapons, but they didn't really tell me what they were. Or if they did, I wasn't paying attention. They have large shields and spears. Okay, I should not have made... I should not have made pikemen. I should have made spear militia. There you go. So these guys will gather the spears and shields necessary. And they've they've done so? I don't know why they're red, but the the number of spears and shields went down. So that's good. I think. So we have we have a standing army. Rally. Pick a rally point, mobilize this unit for combat. Very cool. So we're still uh, all right. Next steps though. Got to got to maintain focus. There's a lot going on in this game. Hunting camp? All right, they're down to 10. So I think this means I should hop you off of the hunting camp. Put you on the forager hut? 
How are we doing on timber? We have 13 timber. I think we should go ahead and build the saw pit over here. Just like right there. This is like the lumber... <laughs> the lumber zone is what I almost called it. Um, but the lumber industry is all situated over here. And then we'll move our lumber camp. Or logging camp, I should say. So this is where all the lumbering takes place in the village. Eventually, we'll get clay deposit going as well. And eventually, we'll get our hands on the iron. 3,000 iron seems pretty awesome. We're going to make this, in this town into iron town. And we'll have lots of steel plates. Barter connection allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Ooh, do we get to build multiple towns? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a thing in this game. Church is still coming. We need to get the, the lumber or the saw pit up and go running first. Well, we have... How many houses can a well supply? Does this question make sense to people? Like, at what point do we have too many houses for one well to, <laughs> to maintain? These are the questions that a, a young lord must ask himself. All right, Burgage is done. So we'd like to move the lumber. The lumber camp isn't like super high priority right now because we have a, a decent backlog of timber. And we've already transported all the wood for the two burgages we were gonna build. So we're not too concerned about holding any of that construction up or any construction for that matter. Because the saw pit needs two l lumber as well. How are you guys doing? You have gathered five berries. Honestly, great. Six months worth of food, five months worth of fuel. That'll get us into November. No, October. <laughs> I know how calendars work. All right, logging camp is back up and running. I'm going to keep the people off of that one for now. And we will assign a family to the forester's hut. I'm hoping a new family moves into this burgage plot fairly soon. Because then we can put them to work in the saw pit. And then the original family back into the logging camp. How many... Does it say how many... Maybe once it's done it'll tell me. I was going to say, I don't know how many tim or logs go into, into planks or whatever. Mining pit. Used to extract ore and clay. Okay, so we'll need to build a mining pit here, or sorry, here and here, eventually. The stone cutters camp could be interesting soon too, especially because the church is going to take all of the stone that we have. I'm guessing some of this later stuff, like yeah, windmill. Well, windmill is just lumber, communal oven. Sheep farm, make wool, pasture, no construction cost, farmhouse, and then field. I am very excited to get fields going, but I'm kind of thinking fields might be like next spring's activity. Because it's already fairly late in the season if you were to try and, and uh, plant fields at this time of day or time of year, it probably wouldn't work out for us. We might want to start getting fields set up like in the fall. So that way when you're, you know, come next spring, we're ready to plant like immediately. Fields and manor lords need to be very large to be effective, but it, they also take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field about the size of one Morgan. How big is a Morgan? <laughs> Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending development points to unlock the heavy plow, which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently use, utilizing oxen. That does sound very awesome. Also, remember, check ground fertility for, for uh, 
prop types. Which one? It was Rye. This the Rye. This is the Rye capital of the world. Let's say, what if we just plot this out? Oh, it'll tell me how big a Morgan is. Okay, so you are a 0.6 of a Morgan. So yeah, we could definitely put a field like back here, out outside the main part of the town. Pasture is also very interesting to me. I like that idea. They must be imported from the livestock trader. That does make sense. You wouldn't find, you know, sheep just wandering the wilds. All right, put a family bank in to production of logging. And then we got a spare family that moved in. I think. So that, that one has a family. How many families do we have? We have seven. This one must be empty. It is, okay. So we have one spare house, which means we can put somebody to work in the saw pit if we so choose. How many, how many lum lumbers come from a log? Transform timber into planks. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I would like to know the ratio. I guess we're into June. How's our food doing? Wow! Things are taking off! Holy cow! You guys have, have raided the entire forest of all the, all the berries. We have 16 months worth of food. Excuse me. Hello? Nearby bandits? They stole my lumber? That's a lot of boys! Are you fighting each other? How many of you are there? So you took my lumber? Is that what happened? Resource stolen by nearby bandits. Or was that firewood? They stole my firewood. How many boys of you are there? This is troubling. One, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16? 16 brigands? Where are my people at? That is, this is not my land, is it? Nope. Rich deposit of stone. Excuse me, how did these brigands from Selbits make their way all the way over to my land and steal my firewood. <laughs> I don't... I, did somebody explain this to me. In the grand scheme of things, eight firewood out of 81 is not that many. It is 10%-ish. Um, and we should deal with them eventually. But right now, I don't know how to deal... I don't know how to fight people. I guess we just muster them. Recruits missing? Well, we would, we would like to have 36, but we don't have enough people for a whole unit. Or weapons, for that matter, to be honest. So hold your horses. Anyway, I got distracted. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's put you guys to work in the saw pit. So now we have somebody working in the forager hut, logging camp, saw pit, for forester's hut, woodcutter's thing. Hunting camp is on hiatus for now as the as the wild animal population rebuilds but holy 88 berries the thing about the berries though is it's not a year-round commodity we won't be able to harvest berries in the winter maybe in the fall but definitely not the winter 18 months worth of food we're doing great on the food perspective I almost wonder if we shouldn't get a second family working in the forester's hut eventually. Because it kind of looks like they're eating into the forest here. Which isn't so bad over here, but we definitely don't want to affect the deer over there. And maybe they wouldn't matter, they wouldn't care if the trees were all gone, but maybe they would. And I don't want to take that risk. 
But yeah, as far as the fields go, kind of going back to a topic we were looking at before, I think it would make sense, like, maybe late August to start thinking about how we want to set up our field. And then a farmhouse. So we just kind of, like, maybe plan the farmhouse here. And then you do build the field out this way. Or the fields, I should say. So maybe we think about setting up the road kind of in this-ish direction. So then your farmhouse would go here. You could build a field on this side, build a field on this side. Maybe clear these trees, I suppose. Clothing. Bloomery. Converts iron ore into iron slabs. Okay, that's so, so that's how you refine your iron into something usable. Smithy makes iron slabs into tools. I haven't looked at any of this. Clay furnace makes clay tiles. The malt house makes malt. The tannery makes leather. Weaver's workshop will use wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. And then a dyer's workshop will convert berries into dyes. Trading post, livestock trading post. No storage space left for production. The saw pit is full? Holy hell! You made 45 planks? <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> Jeez! How did this happen? Okay, well, we have enough stuff for a church all of a sudden. That, w that happened really fast. Okay, well, I think we should, should set the church kind of like up on this end of town, but short of the industry, if that makes any sense. I'm also kind of thinking we might want to move our supply thing. over towards that end of town uh, but, but we'll leave it where it is right now I think the church maybe we just designate it right here I think that's good setting the foundations for the church put that at very high we don't have any unassigned people though so why don't we take a per take you back out of the forester's hut how are we doing on timber we've used up a, a decent amount of timber all right good to know that, like, one log being hacked apart gets us, like, <laughs> a crazy amount of timber. I wasn't paying attention. I don't actually know what the conversion rate is. But I have to imagine it's, like... Is it 1 to 45? Or maybe, like, 3 to... F you know what? I bet it's 1 to 15. And we've converted 3 logs. That makes sense to me. Maybe it is 1 to 45. But I'm guessing it's 1 to 15. Feel free to confirm in the comments for me. All right, we've laid the foundations for the wooden church. We'll pro yeah, we'll get to that next episode. I'm pretty happy with how the forest uh, location has has come about. Our food is doing great. 22 months. We're at 12 months worth of fuel. I wonder if that takes into account the added consumption in the winter or not. Um, but I guess we'll find out. For now, if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of Manor Lords or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!